read the game better when you've all the facts. I'm here in Croke Park where thanks to Air GAA, I'll be catching up with former All-Star and sports psychologist Enda McNulty to talk about this weekend's All-Ireland Final between Dublin and Mayo. Enda, before we get into the nitty gritty of both teams, how important is the management of the days and weeks leading up to an All-Ireland Final from a player's perspective? It's everything. It's everything. The tapering is critical. The team that gets the tapering best has a big advantage. The rest, the recovery, making sure the players are fresh, making sure they've got the fizz in their legs on an Ireland final day is critical. Having been a player who got it right on 2002 on Ireland final day and got it wrong on 03, I can really, really empathise with players who don't get that tapering just accurate. The champions are still standing after a close, tense semi-final against Kerry. We were expecting a stern test, that's exactly what they got. But how have Dublin improved since last year, or have they? I think they have. I think they've got more composed on the pressure. If you look at the personnel they're missing from last year, obviously everybody's touted very strongly about the significance of that. It's very, very important that any team gets battle-hardened. And Dublin, in the semi-final of the Ireland, have been battle-hardened. They went through the mother and father of all battles against Curry. Curry threw everything they had at them. Everything. And I think that really stands to Dublin. You mentioned the tactics there. Eamon Fitzmaurice threw everything at Dublin. Tactically, he got it right with the kickouts. Their work rate, their intensity was immense. What more can Mayo do? Well, I think they can get it better, tactically. So I think Curry had it tactically right for about 80% of the game, but that's not good enough. To win the All Ireland, you have to get it right for 100% of the game. So what they can do better than what Curry got was they can better in the last 10 minutes. That's one of the things they can do straight away. So mentally, that battle in the last 10 minutes of the game is critical. Mm -hmm. If you look at the last four or five Dublin versus Curry games, in the last 10 minutes, Dublin won the mental battle. So if Mayo were going to win this game, they must win that psychological battle in that last critical period. With your background in sports psychology, how will Mayo approach this Dublin? team considering that they came so close to beating them last year? I suppose the more you study psychology and the more I work with teams and the more we see teams all over the world performing, the more I know what I don't know. It's really difficult to get things right mentally, really, really difficult. Now, if I was working with the Mayo team this week, I wouldn't be worried about history. I wouldn't be worried about even talking about winning the game and winning the All-Ireland and the historical significance of that. I would break it right down to the simple things. I would break it down to each player winning not only their battle against their marker, but winning the battle in their zone, because now we're talking about a zone and a zonal game. So that's the first thing we talk about. The second thing is I would do is I would get rid of all of the razzmatazz and all of the perceptions and expectations outside of what has to happen on the pitch. Number two. Number three, I would make sure that the Mayo team control all of the controllables. It sounds so simple, but that's what they need to do. They need to make sure the tactical game plan is executed with military precision. They need to make sure that their basic skills are executed about nine times out of ten. They need to make sure that their composure levels, no matter what happens against Dublin, remains ice cool at all times. And finally, if I was working with the team psychologically, I would make sure that there's really significant work done on their mental toughness. So when Dublin throw all they can possibly throw at these Mayo players, they're able to withstand that. They're able to stand toe-to-toe, -to -toe, look into the eyes of the Dubs and say, we're ready for you. Looking at key battles, a lot of people have picked out the Connolly-Keegan battle. Do you see this as key on Sunday? I do think Lee Keegan is a top quality, let's say, tackler. And we sometimes underestimate the importance of tackling in Gaelic games. We talk about how important it is to be a scorer or a shooter or a point taker or a kicker. But tackling now is more imperative than ever. Lee Keegan's tackling skills against Sean Cavan earlier this year were exceptional. So he's the ability to hit hard and to rattle his opponent as well as being clinical in his tackling. It's almost like a boxer who's got sharp, fast hands. Keegan's sharp. He's got really, really precise feet. And we know the fundamentals of a tackler, whether it's in rugby, or whether it's in Gaelic games, you need to get your footwork right. His footwork is sound. If we look back again to Dublin semi-final and we look at Stephen Cluxon's, I suppose you can call it, 10-minute meltdown where Kerry pushed up on his kickouts. He got frustrated. What are the chances that that's going to happen again? And will Mayo look to do the same? Cluxon will have done his work physically. He will have done it technically, tactically and mentally. I think it would be a much better place for their final. However, Mayo would be foolish not to test him. 
And I think that's the key point, to test him at a different angle, to test him at a different position than he was tested so far this year, or maybe test him more frequently than even Kerry tested him. So in other words, dropping a ball over the top of his head when he doesn't know just where he is, and he doesn't know whether there's a big man coming up behind him or a big man coming towards him at the same time. We used to have an old coach in Queens, a guy called Desi Ran, and he used to make sure that the trajectory of the ball was so accurate, that the angle of the kick-in was so accurate, that the goalkeepers were looking up and they were wondering, is he going to get nailed, number one? Or number two, is he going to you know, drop the ball in front of him? So I think Kerry did that incredibly well in the semi-final. And Mayo, I'm sure, will make sure that happens in the final. Dublin are aiming for back-to-back -back all Ireland finals, something that's tremendously difficult, especially in the modern era. Only one team has managed to do it in the past 25 years. That was Kerry back in 2006, 2007. Dublin are on the cusp of it. How special are this team? It's a very special team, no question. Uh, you have to say talent on the bench would be good enough to start in any team you know, throughout Ireland. Brilliant coach, brilliant athleticism, brilliant skill level, uh, brilliant stars mm -hmm. right throughout the pitch, not just obviously in the forward line. So if you look at somebody like Philly McMahon, incredible player. Kevin McMahon, I don't understand how this guy hasn't got more. Will he start? He has to. I don't know, I don't know, uh, but I think it's fascinating to see. He's an unbelievable player. I don't know how he hasn't gotten more plaudits for what he's achieved in the last five years. For me, he's the MVP, unquestionably the MVP. He's the player at all stages against Curry who stuck the sword in their side. OK, and it's time to call it. Where will this game be won and lost and who will be lifting Sam Maguire on Sunday? I'm going to be slightly controversial. I think it'll be won or lost on the bench. And by the bench, I mean who the coaches are, what, what the coaches are able to do in real time. I think it's won or lost in terms of can the coaches manipulate tactically when they need to. It'll be won or lost in terms of which positions do they change when needed. It'll be won or lost in terms of which substitutes do they make at which time. I think either of these teams are well capable of winning this game. I think it's the coolest management team. I think it's the coach who can change the tactics better than Joe Schmidt would do in rugby. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know that a few of the teams may have been on to Joe Schmidt seeking advice. Uh, and I think it'll be won or lost in terms of the most composed, most experienced, most laser precise coach on the sideline. Without a doubt, Sunday's epic rivalry is one to savour. We'll be back with another special Air GAA preview tomorrow with James Horan, Kieran Whelan, Tomas O'Shea and Conor McManus. Be sure to check it out.